Hey everyone, I hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter Rise on whichever platform you're choosing to play it on. And today I wanted to go over the second event quest that we ended up getting this week because this one, if you thought the last qu event quest I spoke about was pretty good, this one pretty much got everything right and it's something that I want to see Capcom continue to do going forward. Now of course, we only have a handful of weeks for more event quests coming down the pike for Sunbreak, but the way that they have been handling this past few weeks has been extremely well done. And if you, for whatever reason, don't know how to get your hands on any down, sort of downloadable event quests or item packs, all you need to do is make your way down to the Steelworks, speak to the Courier Cat, and go all the way down to the add-ons options and claim anything that's labeled in white, whether it's event quests, free item packs, or whatever it is that you haven't necessarily claimed. Plenty of good stuff there, especially new item packs, for PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Windows players, and Nintendo Switch also got a few item packs as well, which I believe I covered in a previous video already. One of those things should be the latest Master Rank 6 star event quest called Endurance. It's an endurance quest called Rare Species Snapshot. This one is in the Forlorn Arena, and you're taking down a Gold Rathian, a Silver Rathalos, a Lucent Nargacuga, and a Violet Mitsutsune. So pretty much all the rare species monsters that are available in the game, you're gonna have them all available in one quest ready to go. Now there have been quests in the past where you have access to a Gold Rathian and a Silver Rathalos together. So that's not necessarily too surprising. I believe there's also another quest that has you fighting a Lucent Nargakuga and a Violet Mitsutsune together in the arena. So that's not necessarily much of a surprise, but the fact that you get them both paired up, all, all the four monsters, both pairs, all fighting all in one specific fight is extremely well done. On top of that, if you still need crowns for any one of these monsters, Gold Rathian, Silver Rathalos, Lucent Nargakuga, or Violet Mitsutsune, they don't have a 100% guaranteed massive crown, but they do have booster parameters in order for you to be able to chase that um, like big crown for each one of them. So chances are, if you do this quest, uh, maybe two to three times, chances are you're gonna end up finding a big version of any one of these monsters. Lucent Nagaku already had one, several Rathalos I believe had one as well, but the other two did not. So certainly keep your eyes peeled for that. Now, as far as the quest is concerned, you're gonna start out with Gold Rathian. That is the monster that is roaming the arena relatively quickly. As the fight starts, you have about a minute, a minute and a half to be able to kill it before uh, Silver Rathalos pops into the field. You have about another minute and a half before uh, losing Nargakuga pops. And lately in the, in the last little section, you have about a minute to be able to kill it before Violet Mitsune pops. So essentially at all times, you're gonna end up having two monsters available in the field, unless you're able to kill one of them with about a minute, a minute and a half or so. So they're not gonna give you a lot of time for you to be able to just hang around and be able to solo one of them or like take care of one of them by themselves. The other one's gonna pop relatively quickly and you are gonna have to fight two of them at any one time. One of the things that I did try to see as I did this quest multiple times was if you can get three monsters all at once. I didn't necessarily see that, but I did see some reports, people saying that you can ha actually have all three monsters, at the very least three monsters available in the arena quest itself, fighting you at the same time. But I didn't actually see that, which was a little bit of a bummer on my end and probably the only real criticism that I have for the quest. Now, the thing that's cool about it is that while neither one of these monsters have let's say necessarily high parameters like high resistances high damage high damage output you will notice that they all feel a little bit more agile they're continually moving you're going to notice that gold rathian specifically and silver rathalos are going to stay in the air relatively often lucid nargakuga will continue to do the poison spike attacks and move around it, it always does that but it does it a little bit more often it's one of the things that i noticed uh, it will continually do that a little bit more often and violet mitsuzune is the only one that i didn't necessarily see do anything other than enrage probably a little bit earlier than i thought it would but i didn't necessarily do, see it do anything out of the ordinary in that regard but the reason why I think this quest and the reason why I say Capcom nailed it is because they provided us with four monsters that are extremely cool and they provided them all in one very specific quest. If for whatever reason, again, you're hunting crowns, whether you need to hunt one of these monsters, but you want to see the other one, you haven't necessarily fought in a while, 
providing four monsters in an arena fight. Hopefully next time, maybe in the next game or something along those lines, in the next entry, they can actually give you four monsters in the arena all at once. Pure chaos, that would be a lot of fun. But the fact that you have all these monsters fighting together in one specific quest is a job well done. And as part of the second event quest of this week, which we already spoke about, the big massive Crimson Globe Ostracks that we did end up getting as part of this week's pair of event quests, I do think these type of quests are pretty good. They do provide some good incentive for you to be able to go ahead and actually get them done because unlike the big Crimson Glow Valstrax quest, this one does actually have a reward. And what you're gonna end up noticing here is that you have, I believe, a couple of poses available to you. So I believe this one is called the Yoga Pose Set. Uh, the first one you're gonna notice once you make your way back into town is that it's just the typical yoga stuff, your character strand standing up straight, arms up in the air, one leg to the side, both palomies kind of standing up upright, doing the same thing. They're not moving around, but it is pretty cool. Uh, the other one, they had legs spread, arms T-pose type of thing, looking to the side, both palomies on each side, looking relatively menacing. And the last one, you have your character kind of just sitting down, crossing their legs, um, palomies stretching themselves a little bit type of a thing. So uh, pretty good. They're not, you know, gestures or anything that poses but you know it's still something so at the very least we do get some type of decent rewards for this specific quest i know not everyone is crazy about poses or gestures or anything like that but it's always better than when we get guild card titles or anything that doesn't really provide us any sort of value in the actual game experience one of the videos that I did tease in the past are videos that I've been talking about and is one of the ones that is coming up. I'm going to be talking about the next patch that we are going to be getting on the Nintendo Switch and PC Steam um, as far as like what the next patch will be and some of the things that we can expect to get on there. A lot of people are still wondering what the hell is going on with that patch when we're going to get it. Is it going to actually add new monsters? Is it going to add any new actual event quests or anything along those lines? So in that video, I'm going to be talking about extensively as to what it is that we know about it so far. That's most likely going to end up being one of these weekends videos that I've been putting together. I'm also going to put up a video relatively quickly in one of these uh, upcoming days about Monster Hunter Now's preview period. There's been a couple of uh, previews already available. I've been playing the second beta available for the game already, so I'm going to be talking about that. There's also a couple of other previews from different articles that I want to go over as more details are beginning to trickle out as Niantic is finally allowing players to be able to talk about some of the things that are available in that game. So if you're brand new to my channel, though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.